Hello viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. We have made a brief detour to Elfheim. Um, the reason we are here is we want to buy some stuff before we before we go back into the Terra Cavern. Um, and unfortunately Melmond doesn't have much in the way of shopping. So we are... Well, we're going to have a look at some of the spells as well in just a moment. Um, see if there's any, any nice spells that we can maybe buy. I'm not sure how much money we've actually got. Uh, we have 26,000, so a reasonable amount. Um, yeah, so where the hell is the item shop in this place? There must be one. Surely there is an item shop. Did I walk past it? There it is. Hello. Okay. Yeah, we were going to... We're going to buy a whole bunch of like, potions because we ran out of potions the last time. Um, we'll just buy 99 of them, which is the maximum. Uh, antidotes we are all right for at the moment. Um, maybe buy... A little bit more just down um, there, just to get the... Make sure we don't run out. Uh, we have some tents. Could maybe buy a couple of cottages. Uh, just in case we need to go outside. I'm going to stock up in some of these, just in case we do find ourselves with stone being a problem that um, can cure the can cure characters from being turned to stone. And finally, 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 we were going to check out the the magic shop. So the let's see, we've got a white magic shop. Uh, what have we not got already from these? We, we already have Null Ice, both on our, our Red Mage and our White Mage. Um, I, I'm not really too bothered about any of this other stuff just at this moment in time, so we'll leave that. Probably we'll come and pick some of that up later on. Uh, do these guys have anything else to say yet? No, they don't. They don't have any new information. Probably they will have something to say at some point, I would imagine. Okay, we have haste and ice two for a black mage here. Um, muddle or sleep two. So we we could try muddle. Um, confuses foes into turning on each other. I mean, that sounds like it would be a useful ability. Whether it would work very well in practice, I don't know. But we'll take it, we'll see, we'll see, we'll give it a try at some point. Anyway, that's basically all we're doing here. So with that, we're going to very quickly head back to the Terra Cavern, um, which is out by Melmond. In fact, I'm going to rest in the end just before we go. Because it's been a while since I did that. Rest, rest. Yeah, so we're going to head back to the Terra Cavern. We now have the Earth Rod, which will hopefully allow us to progress a bit further past where that vampire um, was guarding. Um, we, we, came to, we came to a bit of a dead end when we reached the vampire. Um, and but he, he wasn't very strong. He was a pretty weak opponent didn't really cause us any difficulty and according to the sage that we met in the cave in the last episode we um, had been tricked the vampire was not actually the the foe we were after the people of Melmond had got that one wrong um, and there is in fact something further down in that dungeon that is causing the problems that are affecting the area basically the earth is turning to um, the earth is rotting and decaying and their town is basically falling apart as it seems to be hit pretty badly by it. So, yeah, we'll try and help them out. Um, we'll head, need to head back to the Terra Cavern to do so. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, we will head over there and I will catch you over at the Terra Cavern. See you in a minute. Okay, we are back here at the Terra Cavern. We're just going to make our way back down to where we were. Now, if I remember rightly, the stairs to the next level, we're down this way. 
And this took us to the next level, which is a bit of a maze. Ooh, six cobras. This doesn't look fun. Let's run away from this poison festival battle. Of course, the enemy has had the first strike, so we're going to have to sit through an attack from each of these guys before we can do anything. Run, 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 run. Thank you. We're going to need to antidote Zedrum there. Uh, okay, antidote has been applied. Let's move on. Okay, so we're down to the second floor. It's basically back to where we were. What's the best way to get to the other side of this? Uh, oh, jeez, they're really going at us with the cobras here. Uh, I really want to fight these guys because it's just going to poison us and be really annoying. We shall leave that one. Yeah, we want to go along here and then down here, I think. I might be completely misremembering this. Oh, a Minotaur, hello. We can kill the Minotaur, he's not going to be too difficult. Especially at one lone Minotaur. They come in groups, they can pose a wee bit of a threat, but a lone Minotaur is not going to be a huge difficulty for us. Especially if he focuses his attacks on Zedrum, who is the most um, capable member of our party of taking a hit. It's very good. Okay, head down here. It's going to be an encounter fest on the way back down, no doubt. Six gargoyles. Gargoyles aren't particularly tough, so we can probably take these guys. Um, uh, hopefully they won't hit Heldar too much, that wouldn't be ideal. So some of those gargoyles are capable of hitting three or four times in one move, which is potentially dangerous if they hit one of our mages. You're going to have to watch out for that. Okay. Not taking these out quite as quickly as I had hoped. Uh, unfortunately, the fighters aren't doing an awful lot of damage to them. bit better. Hopefully that will take that one out as well and that just leaves two, two to go. That should be that. And this should be the final round, assuming we don't miss. Yeah, that should be that. There we go. Gargoyles dealt with. Okay, we're going to wander down here. Oh, so many encounters in this place. Uh, no, not doing that again. It takes ages to kill these things. Okay. Ah, uh, really? Oh, come on. Really, with the gargoyles? And I don't mind fighting like three or four of them, but I'm not fighting eight gargoyles in one battle. That's just stupid. I think I might have got us lost though. Um, okay, four gargoyles. We can take four gargoyles. The game is determined for us to fight gargoyles here. Okay, this should be relatively painless. We should probably beat them this round. 
assuming we don't miss all our attacks. No, not quite, unless Xantos has still got some... Yeah, not quite enough to do that. That should do it, though. That should be the end of that one. Defeated Gargoyles. Moving on. Uh, I don't know if this is the right way at all. There is a door down here. Get out of the way, Bat. Okay. There's some chests here that we haven't opened yet. Now, that does mean there is a possibility they could be guarded. So I'm going to heal up our party just before taking these guys. See, before checking these chests. Let's see. So we don't want to we don't want to end up in a fight with one of those Noma things uh, if we're not ready for it. Okay, here's a battle. A Noma, it's right at the door, which means we'll probably have to fight it again on the way back out. I think we decided the best way to fight these guys is probably just to go for physical attacks and wear them down. They've got about 250 or HP. They do quite a lot of damage, so it's in case of us, we need to kill it before it kills us. No huge strategy to them, just kind of... Attack, 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 and make sure that we're at full strength going into the battle. The only... The only significant hit there was to Helder. Um, we can heal him up, no problem though. I think Zedrum did take a bit of a hit. Why am I using an antidote? Where's the potion? Yeah, one, two, I'll do it for you for just now, and a couple of potions for you. Okay. Some gill. Oh, we have another encounter. What's this? Cobras. The cobras are really weak, but they do have that poison. Yeah, poison's going to be more of an annoyance than the, the actual enemies in this battle. Just why I tend not to fight these things, typically. Um, but we'll, we'll fight these ones, just because why not? We've started now. They're very weak enemies. Um, surprised we're still even seeing these in this cave, given that there's anacondas um, around instead. But... Never mind. The only significant thing they can do is poison our characters. Um, other than that, I mean, they, they really pose very, very little threat. Otherwise, they do very little damage to even our weakest characters. So, poison is really the only thing that we need to watch for here. And we'll cure Zedrum's poison once we have left the fight. That should be that. So, we will need to do some curing. We also have got a leather shield in there. Can anyone use that? I think Zedrum is the only one that can really use. But well, we hadn't equipped his Mithril Helm yet. The, uh, he now has a Mithril Helm. Everyone else is on the best stuff they can use at the moment. And we want Potion for you. Everybody else is fine, and we need an antidote for Zedrum as well. There we go. Okay, and one more chest here. Just 5,000 gil. And we'll have to fight this guy the way back out of the room. Typical. Okay, we'll just do the same as we did the first time. Hopefully it won't take too long. Two hits for each of our fighters, that's good. That should make this reasonably quick. Zedrum's taken a couple of heavy hits there, but fortunately he's the most capable of withstanding those, so that's fine. Don't really have a problem with that. Uh, okay, so that was that. Uh, we'll heal up Zedrum just a little bit, as he did take a couple of hits there. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, and onwards. Oh, uh, we take one step onwards and we have another encounter. What is it this time? Tarantulas. Uh, screw tarantulas. This is going to be Poison City if we stay and fight these guys. 
Oh, we can't escape. Great. No, we can. Good. Thought we weren't going to get away there. Um, worked out okay. Right, so... That wasn't the way to the next floor, though. Where is the way to the next floor? Ugh, cobras, really? Get away. Ah, oh, come on! Poison on me every time. Right, let's just run away from this battle quickly, please. Thank you. Okay, cure the poison and move on. What have we got this time? Gargoyles again. I'm not really too worried about fighting any of these things. They're just time consuming and not particularly helpful in any of these battles. We don't get an awful lot of gill for it, we don't get an awful lot of experience for it, so. Probably best to just move on. And. Unfortunate thing in this cave, the encounter rate is pretty high, so. Right, we can take four tarantulas, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Of course, they're probably going to end up poisoning half of our party, but never mind. Two down. Two to go. Zedrum is poisoned again. Goody. And that should be that. Need to heal Zedrum's poison again. Typical. Okay, where the heck do we go from here? I can't remember the way through. Oh, there's the stairs there. We found the stairs. Excellent. Ugo Chieftains. Okay, we can take these guys. This shouldn't be too much trouble. That should be that. Ogre chieftains are worth fighting, so they do give a reasonable amount of experience and go. Um, okay, so since we're about to go down the stairs, we'll heal everyone up a bit. Uh, these guys are fairly alright at all. So that's fine. Let's go. We'll probably end up getting another encounter before we go down. And yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Tarantulas. So that'll be an antidote. Okay, here we go. Antidoted. And down the stairs. Okay, so I'll take a memo here just in case anything weird happens, but we should be alright anyway. Right, now we did go in this room, I think. I can't remember what chest, because I'm, I'm sure there's something that we've missed in this room, in this floor even as well. Um, I can't remember what doors we've been into and what we've not, so I'll have to just double check on the way around. Two wraiths here, these shouldn't be much of a threat. Yeah, we've got that, that's fine. Okay, we have some ogres and ogre chieftains. We'll take out the regular ogre first of all. And that is that. No problems at all. We'll want to heal up a little bit. Going through potions fairly quickly. 
They don't do an awful lot of healing though, so that's the only downside to them. It's, it saves us using the magic, um, which is quite limited even still at this point, but it doesn't... Potions don't do an awful lot in terms of healing, so you do have to use quite a lot of them. Yikes, weights and ghasts. Seems like a good opportunity for Dia to come into play here. I don't want to use too many Dias, as that might come in helpful later on. We'll just stick with Dia 1. Um, weaken them, if not kill most of them. Yeah, it's taken a few out. These guys can cause paralysis, which shouldn't be too much of a worry for us. He should be dead. Great, so we'll just finish these guys off and that'll be that. There we go. Easy peasy. Right, continue up here. So, when we came round here the first time, we went to the left path, which went to the vampire. I'm going to quickly check out what's on the right path here. Oh, hello. This is an enemy we've not seen before, an ochre jelly. What is these guys' story going to be? Uh, we'll take out the tarantula first of all. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, take out the tarantula. And we'll see what these jelly things do. They can hit quite hard. They can hit pretty damn hard, okay. This physical attack's a thing that's going to work. Yikes, they've done quite a lot of damage. Physical attacks do work. I'm not sure how much HP they've got, somewhere around about 60, 70 odds by the looks of it. These guys hit plenty hard. That should be them dealt with, but they did not quite a bit of HP off of everyone there. We didn't get an awful lot of experience or anything for that either, so uh, probably best to uh, just ignore those enemies in the future and run away. Not really worth that battle, um, considering how much it's going to cost us in terms of potions healing back up here. Take yeah, that do. Yeah, we'll continue around this path as we've not been this way yet and I want to make sure that we get all of the chests if possible. Now, is there anything down here? Some wraiths for us to fight. Yeah, I'll just use physical attacks. It shouldn't be too difficult for us to take these guys out. And again, physical attacks don't really do all that much damage to them. Uh, unfortunately, we do miss these enemies quite regularly. These must be quite hard to hit. That should take that one out. That should hopefully take that one out. Yes, it does. Excellent. Zedrum has gained a level. That is good, that means the others shouldn't be too far behind. Uh, we're going to have to heal up again, fortunately. Right. Is there anything down here? There is a room... ...with a chest in it. And the chest is guarded by a Numa. Right, we know the script with these guys by now, just hit them until they die. And hope that we don't die in the process. I hope he does not hit Heldar again, because that could potentially be deadly. I'm going to say that should be that. Yeah, that's fine. Gonna need to heal Heldar up, but we'll check what's in this chest first of all. A potion. 
Really? Come on. Absolute troll chest, that one. Okay, moving on. Four Pisco Demons. Oh, these guys again. Yep, we'll remember them. Hopefully we won't have too tough a time against them this time. I seem to recall magic really didn't work against these guys, so we just need to use physical attacks, I think. Two down. Should be not too far off. That should be him, and that should be one more hit, and this guy up at the top should do it. That should hopefully be him. Yes, there we go. Excellent. Eldar has gained a level. Right, we'll continue up here. Werewolves and wardrobes. Not really worth fighting at this point. Of course, they are going to get all their attacks in before we get away, just to take up more of our precious time. Okay, moving up here. Is there any other rooms or anything up at the top here? That looks like a dead end. That looks like a dead end as well. So we'll just head back round to the area where we fought the vampire. Okay, we are back in the room where we fought the vampire. Um, I'm going to wander to the back and see if we can do something with this plate that's on the floor. We're going to get an encounter first, naturally. Ogre chieftains and some ogres. Shouldn't be too much trouble for us. We'll just quickly defeat these guys and see what the hell that floor plate does. And that is that. There we go. We've defeated those ogre things and we will now see what the hell this is. A stone place. There. A stone plate rests on the floor. It seems to emanate an evil force. Right, we we need to actually use this thing. Uh, hold on, it's a key. It's an earth rod. Ooh, we have a staircase. Okay, we've gone further down into the dungeon. This seems to be another mazy level. I don't really want to fight wraiths, these things are quite annoying. But yeah, we have a new floor of the dungeon. I wonder if this is going to be similar to the previous floors, or if we're going to encounter any new enemies. That appears to be a dead end. Seems very maze-like, unfortunately. This appears to be a dead end as well. Oh, hello. A werewolf, a lizard, and several goblin guards. Not hugely dangerous, although the lizard can hit quite hard, I think. The werewolf can also poison us, potentially. I think we should probably focus on the lizard. Goblin guards are really weak. Lizard should be dead there, that's good. The next target should be the werewolf to make sure nobody gets poisoned. And that should be that. The rest of this fight is basically a formality.
There we go. No problem at all. This does seem to be a dead end though. Is there anything over here? A bat. Hello, bat. Um, some more pesky demons. Let's quickly kill these. There we go. Okay, let's go this way, maybe. Can't tell if this is a dead end or an actual path. We've stumbled upon a troll. He's holding his head in pain. He's going to be in more pain in just a moment. There we go. Onwards. There's a door down here. Okay, we have some chests. We're going to heal up first. Because I don't know if these ones are going to be guarded as well. For all I know, they might be guarded by something even stronger than before. I'll keep a memo as well, just to make sure, just in case anything stupid happens and we have to reload. Okay, we have a guard here. It's, ooh, this time it's a lizard, a goblin guard, and a werewolf. I don't know if this is maybe just a random encounter then. Perhaps it's just a coincidence that it happened in front of the chest. Right, kill the lizard and the werewolf first, preferably. And that should be that. No problems at all there. Easy fight. a tent. We have another battle here. Oh, an ogre mage. That's new. And a hyena dawn. Okay, an ogre mage could potentially be problematic. We're gonna want to possibly silence there. Okay, Blink can cast Darkness, or I can't remember what Blink does, raises evasion or something crazy like that. Okay, that has silenced him so he can no longer cast spells. That should take out the Hyena Dawn. We will take out the Ogre Mage next. That's that, and the Chieftain should be no problem for us, we've fought these guys before. Easy peasy. Here we go. Helio has finally gained a level. Excellent. 1,250 gil and a Mithril Shield. Okay. So, very quickly we will check out... Uh, how, how are we looking for items in here? Still quite a lot of items to be found. We only have 19 out of 24 items, so... Very possible that we've missed some in other areas of the cave. We'll come back to that later, though. We do have some enemies that have not been checked here. So the ochre jelly we discovered in this in this cave, um, they're weak to ice and fire. They weren't particularly strong against physical attacks either, but they do quite a lot of damage if they hit you. 
Vampire was rubbish, basically. Um, for a boss fight, it was pretty pathetic. And the Ogre Mage is an Ogre Mage, basically. What else is there to say about that? It is a mage that is also an Ogre. We have some art. Anything interesting? Crocodile. Crocodile and an Ochu. Cool. Anyway, so we'll continue onwards then. We will move on back out here. And... Was there another direction that we could go from here? That's a question. I'm gonna need to find the staircase, if there's a staircase, or alternatively find whatever we need to find in this level, I guess. Um, could we go up this way? More pesky demons. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing these guys' name right. If it's like Pisco Demon or Piso Demon or I don't know how else you could really pronounce it, I suppose, but They're not too tough for us now anyway, we can relatively easily take them out. That's one down, and that should be that. There we go. That's a nice good hit from Zedrum, so sorts them out. We can continue making our way here, maybe? I don't know if we're going the right way. Uh, oh, two trolls. Two trolls, two trolls. Really, if we can, t yeah, I want to take one out in one round and just prevent them both being able to get an attack on us. That was good. Hopefully, this should get down in this round as well. Perhaps not. Oh, yeah, we got it. Cool. There is a staircase. Excellent. Uh, we're gonna heal up. So this will take us down to the fifth floor of this dungeon. Okay, and onwards we go. And. Please save over this as well. This is a precaution. Okay, where to from here? We've, we can go along. Get out of the way, Bat. No, we can't go along. That's a dead end. We need to go up. Here's a hill, I guess. And he is now dead. Good stuff. Let's move on. Up here, I guess. Another sort of mazy layout. This one, I don't really know what way to go, so bear with me. Here's a door. Oh, hello. Okay, this looks promising. Um, we will save a memo. This looks promising. This looks like a, the potentially be the Earth Crystal. Hello. What is this? Oh, this guy's huge.
This guy does not seem too friendly. This is the Lich. And we have some different music which suggests this is possibly the first proper boss fight in the game. Okay, um, a Lich. Now, Lich, I believe, is undead, so we could probably, probably fire magic and, um, we'll just get attacked with you, but Dia magic might work well here. Um, and we'll get you to use fire three as well. Ace two. Oh dear. Right, dear two, does this work? Does this work? It does 46 damage, not a huge amount. Fire two is better, that did quite a lot of damage. So I think that might be best to do again. Um, is it worth us? Is he likely to use null ice or, or an ice attack again? We could use null ice to nullify that. And we will use fire three again. Sleep two. Okay, this could cause us a problem. Let's put Zedrum to sleep. Hopefully he shall wake up before too long. That fire spell is doing tons of damage. That's really awesome. I think that was the last time we could use it, but still good. Okay, I don't think we have any awakening type spells, unfortunately, but um, we can continue using Dia, and you can use, what could you use, perhaps, I mean Fire 2 should still be pretty powerful. Haste, oh he's cast haste on himself, this is bad. However, we have taken him out. The magic spells definitely did the trick there, they were doing a ton of damage to him, that was really, that was really good. We have defeated the Lich. And in doing so, we have gained a whole bunch of gill. Okay. Zedrum is holding up his crystal to the earth crystal. And that seems to have restored its power. Excellent. We seem to have restored power to the Earth Crystal. This will hopefully go some way in preventing further damage to the world that has been caused by the by the deterioration and just destruction of the, the crystal's power previously. Um, and we've defeated the Lich, who is obviously responsible for um, weakening the power of the Earth Crystal. So, with that, I believe that is a teleporter up behind it that will allow us to get out of the dungeon very quickly. Um, we have, however... Still got some things to find in here, I believe. Um, if we check the item collection. Yeah, we've still got a few items to pick up in here, so I'm going to hang around and see if I can find them. Um, we'll quickly check the details of the Lich here. Yeah, so the Lich had 800 HP. He was weak to fire and deer, so we got that right. He was an undead enemy. Um, resistant to pretty much everything else, so no other magic would really have particularly worked there. But, yep, the fire spell was the one that did the trick, particularly the fire three and fire two spells, they were doing tons of damage. Um, yeah, so we've defeated him. Um, I guess we will need to go back to Melmond and see if their situation has improved any, um, given the defeat of the Lich who was damaging the earth. Um, however, for the moment, we'll call that the end of the video for the time being, so thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this, if you haven't, give us a like, leave us some feedback, and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Uh, thank you once again, and I hope to see you next time, catch you later!